passion is evident. And often they have the chance of another score! Oh my word! Oh, what a great save! He's got number two! Dublin are the Leinster champions. Pat Horgan has been sent off. Just perfection, really. Down and out, Randy, lifting the Munster Cup. Champions for 2013. There's a chance here. Oh, what a goal for Jack Dillon. Kilkenny beat their great old rivals from Tipperary. Absolutely brilliant for Kevin Moore. Well, we've had it all and we've seen it all in Thurlis. Henry Shufflin is sent off. Bearing down a goal, he takes it's a goal for Dublin. But it's a goal for Cork. Dublin have been beat. What an amazing story, what an amazing performance. It's a goal! It's a first clear final for 11 years. It's a great explosion of noise. Croke Park is a beguiling setting. It's the second all Munster All Ireland final, the first for 16 years, and Brian Gavin from Offaly gets the match underway. Here comes Daniel Carney. Carney from 30 metres out. Great save. Oh, great save. Should have been the goal for Clare. Lehan has the chance, and he strikes a brilliant goal. Cork need a goal. He's got it. What about that wonderful score? Park Ronan. The teams are level. Will this be the winner of the All Ireland? It's over the bar. And Cork going front here. Who's going to do it? A few seconds remaining. Back out it comes once again to Donald O'Donovan. They would deserve a draw. They get a draw. The teams in the final have to come back and do it all again. It's Clare versus Cork, the sequel. What a year, huh? Well, just before we name our team of the year, we're going to go through our 10 moments of the year because we've just seen so many talking points. So here's our 10 moments of the year. And Cyril, no particular order, we should say. Eddie, will you take us through number one? Yeah, first and foremost, we're, we're going to hit is Limerick. Um, you know, what a, a scene. I don't think that's been seen apart from an all Ireland final. And it just goes to show what it means to the people of Limerick. I mentioned earlier on in the year that Munster Rugby, they're a sport mad people down there in Limerick. And for them to come out from underneath the, the umbrella of the, the rugby lads, the, you just seen what it meant to the, the hurdlers of Limerick, 1996 up to that. So yeah. what a day, what a, what a scene. It was a great day. Our next one, Cyril. Yeah, Dublin's win in the Leinster, Leinster title for 52 years. Anthony Daly's team. It shows, like, you know, they, they were absolutely brilliant this year. Uh, got great scores. Like, you know, went on OK in the end. They wound up that little bit short against Cork. But went on to defeat uh, Kilkenny in a replay. But win, they have a Leinster title under the belt. And they're going to be a serious team in the championship next year. OK. 
Another great moment. Eddie, for you next. Yeah, from his, uh, his fan club here in the Sunday game, Hodge <laughs> Collins. Uh, this is a great point because he had his two catches used up and often, often you see those go down a blind alleyway there and lose in possession. But to have the presence of mind and even just to know where the post were was the big thing there. Mm. That's known where you are in the, conscious of your space and conscious of where you are in the pitch. And that was just an absolutely superb point and it really gave Claire a lift at the, at the end of that match. So many great points throughout the year, but your next one oh, is this, this dying is an, moments. This, uh, Kevin Moore against Kilkenny. Like this lad epitomises what Waterford Hurling is all about. Free spirit, great, very creative. Comes back at his left side and bang over the bar. Like he nearly, he nearly won this game in his own days. Like he's a brilliant player, and like he'd be one like that. Waterford are looking forward to next year. To whoever, to whoever the new manager is going to be. Yeah, the roar from the crowd there uh, so, says so much. Next one for you, Eddie. Yeah, if there was a, a tint of regret about retiring, it was certainly this night below at Nolan Park. I have to say it would have been a great occasion to be part of. But the atmosphere, I've never seen anything like it in Nolan Park. I've been fortunate to play there a good few times. It announced Henry's arrival as well, they announced him. And, you know, I think people even that night, DJ was there on the side and they were wondering, was DJ going to talk <laughs> out? But uh, what an occasion. Nolan Park would probably never see anything like that again. Yeah. Cyril? Yeah, this is a comic one really. It's it's Leash versus Galway and, and Leash. Oh, I love this. Uh, this, yeah. this is unbelievable. Like this is a great goal Watch for Leash. Like, like, What's that fellow? What's the Stewart? Like it's it's kind of the shot of the year. He's on his own here. Look look at this. <laughs> he has his own form of, of the hacker. You know what I mean? But he, it just shows you how much he meant. Like there's that night Leash led up to the last few minutes and then Galway on the rack. But like it, it, it epitomises yeah. what what excitement and hurling is all about. Yeah. And it was a great year for Leash. You should remember that. Next memory of. 2013. Yes, Hawkeye in its inaugural year um, created a little store of controversy. Remember we were there that day, it, it looked a, a valid point and uh, I think we felt that just that the occasion maybe had got to Hawkeye on the night, on the day, but um, you know, very clearly a point and uh, yeah. I suppose it rumbled on and it probably maybe, you know, it was very unfortunate on Limerick to lose out in a place and not learn the final because of that. It certainly was, but, but, that, but that in turn provided you with... Another one of your favourite Yeah, fan fantastic win for Waterford Miners. They hadn't won it for many, many years, like, and, and they needed this. Like, but like, to, to win a minor final for any team, they, they were actually beaten twice in the campaign, but they were a very good side. And like, definitely they will be getting players out of this minor championship team to go on into the senior team. And it showed how much they meant. You know, they got a fantastic yeah. reception down yeah. in Waterford. Yeah, well deserved for, for the county, of course. But um, our final two moments. Yeah, Donald O'Donovan, what a man. Um, probably the most unlikely fellow to get a point, <laughs> but... You talk about um, you know being in the right place at the right time, but um, without that, it's probably fair to say Cork could be All Ireland champions. And um, you talk about the thin margins defined between winning and losing. Um, what a, what a moment to step up and deliver! It's a great performance from him, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and if that didn't go over, this guy wouldn't be on. It wouldn't be the hero at all, Shane O'Donnell. <laughs> to me, like he's he's kind of the smiling assassin. He, he's smiling while he's actually scoring. He's so free and so innocent, and he's so young. Like and to get three goals, like and, and three points in, in an All Ireland final, like it's unreal. Like you know, so he has a big future ahead of him. So like it's going to be it's it's, it's going to be interesting how he copes next year. He's only twenty. He'll be still under twenty one and senior again. And it'd be lovely to watch how he's going to develop. But like he's he's a free spirit, and it looks something to look forward to.